Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 75. That is, what is bug taxonomy? Let me answer. In software testing, as part of bug taxonomy, we define different feature categories of the application and thereby adding test ideas for each of the feature category, which may result in possible bugs. Okay, so that is what is bug taxonomy. Let me explain this line with an example so that you will understand what is bug taxonomy in a better way. For example, there is an application like Tutorial Ninja. I'll show you the application also. You see, this is the application, Tutorial Ninja application, right? So if I am testing this application, if I have to prepare a bug taxonomy as part of testing this application, if I have to create a bug taxonomy, I'll be creating like this. This is a project or application name and for this application, I'll be defining different feature categories. What are the different feature categories in this tutorial Sinja application? As you can see, we have a category like register account functionality, right? This is one feature. Registering an account with this application is one feature that I mentioned here, register account. And also this particular application has another feature known as login feature, okay? Here I'll try to log into the application, right? That is another feature. And other features in the application like search feature, add to cart, checkout feature, placing order feature, all the other features I'll mention here. So this is a sample, so I'm not creating the entire bug taxonomy. So for a particular application, as part of bug taxonomy, we define, we define different feature categories of the application, okay? We define different feature categories of the application like this, register account, login, forgot password, logout, search, and so on. Like that, we'll define different feature categories for this application. Okay, and after that, for each and every feature category that I mentioned here, we are going to add the test ideas. For example, for register account, what are the test ideas I added for this as part of this bug taxonomy of this application? For register account, I added the test ideas like invalid email address. Okay, try to create an account with invalid email address. What's happening? We have to check. Okay, we will try to create or register an account with the help of invalid phone number. We'll try to enter invalid phone number while registering an account. See what will happen. So we'll try to create a duplicate account while registering an account, okay? And many other test ideas we can add, okay? This is only the sample list. And for a similar, similarly for register account, the way we added the test ideas, right? Similarly for the login uh, feature also, for login feature category also, we can add some test ideas like uh, SQL injection payloads. We'll try to insert some SQL injection payloads uh, to see whether the hacker is able to bypass the authentication process okay the login process or not without having the valid credentials whether the hacker is able to log into the application or not we'll check so without entering the credentials okay without providing any username password if the user is trying to log in what is happening okay all such kind of test ideas i am adding to the uh, respective feature categories of this application so why i am adding all this list of uh, test ideas for each and every feature of this feature category of this application because these test ideas may result in possible bugs Okay, with the help of this test ideas, we may generate some bugs in the application. Okay, this is what is a bug taxonomy, guys. Okay, in software testing, as part of bug taxonomy creation, we define different feature categories of the application. We define different feature categories of the application and thereby adding test ideas for each and every category, thereby adding the test ideas for each and every category, feature category, which may result in possible bugs. Okay, this test ideas, we are not going to add all the hundreds of test ideas. We are going to only add the test ideas for which there is a possibility of uncovering a defect in the application. Okay. So we are going to add the test ideas which may result in some possible bugs. Okay. In the application while testing. So this is what is called as bug taxonomy, guys. Bug taxonomy, if you give this bug taxonomy to the uh, uh, newcomers, okay, new software testers, okay, who are newly entered into the software testing field, okay, they can test the application better, they can learn a lot. And also the experienced people, okay, experienced software tester also can use a bug taxonomy uh, to increase the test coverage, to increase the test coverage. They're already testing well, but on the top of that, if they are missing any ideas, okay, so they can use this bug taxonomy so that they can increase, okay, increase the amount of testing by increasing the test coverage. So this is what is bug taxonomy, guys, okay, and this is how it is created, which in simple terms is nothing but as part of bug taxonomy, okay, creation. We define different feature categories of the application. All the feature categories of the application we define here. And for each and every feature category, we are going to add 
test ideas which may result in possible bugs okay all the test ideas we are going to add for each and every feature category that may result in possible bugs okay and this is what is bug taxonomy so hope guys you got the answer for what is bug taxonomy and what is the use of creating this bug taxonomy so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye